Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss another very interesting uh, sliding window based problem, okay, where you can optimize the code using sliding window, that kind of problem uh, I am discussing here. So the problem uh, title is count distinct elements in every window. Very simple, the question says given an array A of size N and an integer K, your task is to complete the function count distinct which prints the count of distinct numbers in all windows of size k in the array a okay so first of all one thing is clear that we no need to take the input and do processing we need to only write the function part no need to write the whole code first thing is clear and now whenever the distinct number comes which data structure you should uh, use Obviously, if distinct number comes, always try to go or always try to use the set because in set you cannot store any repeated element and that is the best way to optim optimize the code. Okay, so just try to think uh, the uh, how to do the coding part using the sliding window and uh, set to optimize this particular part. Okay, so pause the video and try it. Here I am explaining. Okay. So see, my input is how, see the first line of the input contains integer t denoting the number of test cases, then t test cases follows, each test case contains two integers n and k, then in the next line n space separated values of array a, okay, then in the next line are n separated values of array a, okay, so basically here from the example you can understand, this, uh, check this uh, sample test case, this first two indicates how many number of test cases are there. So it indicates two test cases are there. First test cases are 7, 4. 7 indicates the length of the array. 4 indicates the window size. And next one is 3, 2. And this is nothing but 3 is indicating the length of the array. 2 is indicating the window size. And 4, 1, 1. These are indicating array elements of this particular array. It's 1, 2, 1, 3, 4, 2, 3 indicating the array element of the first test case array. Right? The output should be for each test case in a new line print the space separated values denoting counts of distinct numbers in all windows of size k in the array. A. Okay, all right. So, how we can write the code? See here, this particular part is already given this blue color shaded part. We no need to do, just we need to write this particular count distinct code and here I am discussing in Java you can implement the same algorithm in C++ or Python okay just syntax will differ so what is the algorithm we are going to follow we will slide our window each time for sliding we will add one next element and we will remove the first element uh, of our previous sliding window just uh, how I explained in my previous video if you want to check uh, the basics of sliding window please go through the link given in the description okay then what we will do, we will put all the elements of our window, of current window, in a particular set. That may be has set, that may be t set, that may be link has set. That depends on you. No issue in that. All will perform uh, just our intention to use set is to determine the size of the set. Because if we put a particular array, or array list, whatever, in a set, then only non-repeated or distinct element will be stored. And if we calculate the size of that particular set, can get an idea that how uh, many um, distinct elements are present in our array or array list. That's what the basic idea, right? So here is the code class GFG. So GFG is our class name. You can uh, give your class name during compilation in the competitive programming. Void count distinct int a int k int n. All right, k is the part. k is basically our window size. n is basically our length of the array. Int a is our array. Then I am creating two array list for uh, computing purpose. This array list C will store the window and array list D U M. What it will do? Uh, basically, this particular array list is not required. Sorry, let me remove this. Otherwise, it will take uh, extra space for no reason. Okay. Then in tail equal to a dot length. I am computing the length of my array list. If you want, you can directly use the n also. Then I am storing the first window of size k in that array list C. So for int j equal to 0, j less than k, j plus plus c dot add a of j. All right. Now here I am using tree set. Okay. So tree set integer equal to uh, tree set integer d equal to new tree set c. So I am storing all the elements of our three array list, which is basically our current window in that uh, tree set d. So I feel that if we compute the size of d, that is using d dot size 
what we will get we will get the distinct elements present in our current window that's all so system dot out dot print d dot size one space why i am printing because our return type of this particular function is void so we have to uh, print we know we cannot return anything right then we will uh, slowly by slowly we will slide our window and sliding what i told you we have to add the next element and we have to remove the first element so to add i am using this command c dot add a of j we are uh, inserting one element from the next uh, of our original input array and c dot remove zero we are removing the first element which is basically first element of our previous window then again we are storing that in the preset which we formed here preset integer dr equal to new preset c so why i have not used this d which which preset which we already created earlier because we have not cleared the tree set so that particular element may come here also and uh, this may lead to wrong results so every time i am generating one new tree set okay so no issue in that garbage 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 collector in java will take care of uh, the clearing part and then system dot out dot print dr dot size okay again we are uh, uh, checking the size of the uh, tree tree set dr and then we are printing that that's all so this is very simple code i hope you have understood this nothing is there much just you should understand this that if in the question it is given distinct elements finding then we should try to go our code with set either that may be has set or linked has set or tree set that depends on this position here has set will perform the same tree set will perform the same link linked has set will also perform the same so that i have chosen according to my choice and here you can see execution time 0.24 correct answer okay so these type of problems are very very important for different service based companies and product based companies if you are appearing in placement process okay so practice this well java collection in the java collection have a clear idea because lots of inbuilt functions you can use to optimize your code and run your code with lesser amount of for loops because uh, in the competitive programming most important part is time complexity you may find out the logic you may write the code properly in eclipse or netbeans but the problem is that when you are solving in compiler online compiler then time complexity matters say huge okay you should not go above uh, o of n square at least you should try to do uh, within o of n if it is not possible try to check that if o of n square is giving time complexity or not if it is giving then you have to find some more optimized way like this particular code is computing the whole program in o of n only here i have used one for loop and here i have used another for loop so if uh, this for loop k times uh, iteration occurs and here l minus k so o of k plus o of l minus k that is uh, 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 adding together we can say total time complexity worst case time complexity in terms of uh, you know, big o notation is o of l okay but o of n that is size of array that's all so the same code i am going to post in the comment section of my this video if you want you can check there thank you for watching